All of the clothes, shoes, and accessories in your closet all tell a unique story and if you can really start to understand those stories and how you can really lean into that or counteract it, you can build really great outfits. So starting with today's video, I'm kicking off a new series where I'm going to highlight a couple pieces and then I'm going to focus in on the storytelling within that piece and the design details that you can use to influence your outfit combinations and then I'm going to build looks around that. So we're starting today with Nisolo. I'm working with them on this video, so I'm going to be styling three pairs of their shoes throughout the entire video, and I'm going to link everything in the description box down below, and I also have a 20% off discount code. You can get 20% off your first order using my code AUDREY20. So let's get started. So let's start off with this pair of shoes first, and anytime I'm looking at a piece and trying to figure out the story that it's telling, I like to consider the color, the shape, and then the material. Those three things together can tell you a lot about the energy that type of piece is holding, whether it's dressy, whether it's casual, and then how you can style your outfits around it. So looking at these, the first thing I want to talk about is the color. I've mentioned this in past videos, but anytime you bring color into a situation, you also bring emotion, and understanding the emotion behind those colors can help you choose the best ones for your wardrobe. So when you're thinking about the spectrum of colors from light to dark, lighter colors literally feel lighter. They look like they could float away on a cloud almost. They also have a tendency to feel a little bit more innocent, slightly sweet, softer overall, and I think they immediately make me think of spring and summer. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the overall shape, the silhouette of a shoe like this, and then the design details. So when you're thinking about a shoe like this, something that's a clog, to me that automatically feels a little bit more casual. There's something folk feeling about it, and that has a tendency to make me think of long flowy dresses, things that are going to really lean into this overall complete aesthetic the way that we're familiar with it. And then when you take that one step further and you start looking at the wooden detail here, that also makes it feel very grounded. It makes it feel very earthy in a really great way. And when you combine that folk feeling with the earth feeling of the wooden sole, you create a shoe that feels perfect for outfits that are going to really kind of lean into that. So what I like to do is counteract those details. And then the last part is the heel height. Because this is a really great stacked heel, something that's a little bit blocky, that automatically makes it feel a little bit more casual than something like a stiletto but it's still dressy enough where you can have some flexibility with how you're gonna wear this and building your outfits around it it creates such a perfect balance it's casual but a little bit dressy and I think a really great thing for spring and summer so now I want to walk you through some of my styling options so for this first outfit I've leaned into the casual feeling of this type of shoe by going for jeans but I've kept them in my personal style by going for a pair of gray jeans and especially this this time of the year gray jeans and then a white top it's one of my favorite combinations and I think that a color like this that you see in the shoes goes so beautifully with this color palette and then for the top I've leaned into that kind of folk feeling and that kind of fairy tale energy that a pair of shoes like this has by going for these sweet little details that really help enhance that story so for this top in particular it's got the little puff sleeve it's got the little peplum the tie waist and then these little delicate ruffle details and that does a lot to really propel this energy forward. So you end up with a really great balance. You get the floaty, flirty feeling of the top that echoes back to the quality of the shoe, and then you have the jeans that kind of anchor it all, and they create a beautiful combination and something that I think is very, very wearable for spring. Now let's say I wanted to instead dress these shoes up and make them feel a little bit more formal. The easiest way to do that is to swap your jeans for a pair of tailored pants. And specifically here, going for pants in the same color as the top, that's going to create a really beautiful beautiful cohesive top to toe look and then also really enhance that color palette by keeping everything really soft and floaty it makes the shoes feel that extra special and then also what I love about this is because the block heel like we talked about earlier kind of makes them feel a little bit more casual by going for a longer shoe or a longer pant you kind of block that ever so slightly so you get the height and you get that beautiful elongation but you're not showing off the wooden heel in a way that's 
gonna make it automatically feel a little bit more casual. And then the last thing that I love to do to automatically elevate my outfit and really tie it all together is to match my shoes to my bag. And anytime you do that, and especially with a look like this where the shoe is almost completely hidden, you get just a peek. So when you're walking or you're moving or you're sitting, you can see that thought and the bag going back to the shoes. It ties everything together in such a beautiful way and makes it really easy to put together a great outfit. Now I want to talk about this pair of shoes and we're going to go over the same things as before. So let's start with the color. This is in that same beautiful light bone color and this color, much like the first pair, it uh, kind of speaks to that ethereal quality, that lightness, that brightness, and is perfectly suited for the spring and summer. And then from there, you can look at the fact that when you're looking at the material of this, this is mostly all leather everywhere and it's a very continuous color. So the thing that I want to call out here is the fact that that this leather continues on the heel as well. So even though these are a stacked heel, just like the first pair, the fact that this is color, uh, covered in the leather and not the exposed wood grain automatically makes it feel a little bit dressier. And I think perfectly suited for a more formal outfit. So you could definitely wear this with the top that I've got now and then the beautiful long white pants. It creates such a beautiful cohesive look. And then also you could pair this with the top and the jeans and it would dress up the jeans because this is a more formal style of shoe. And then the other thing that I want to talk about really quickly is that when you're looking at the shape of this, this beautiful crisscross detail in the front, it's a very feminine touch, very delicate, and I think perfectly speaks to the delicate teach, uh, details on this top as well. And you could use that to influence other pieces that you want to style it with. So this would look really great with silk and anything kind of light and bright and a little bit floaty because it would perfectly reflect back to those details. So the last pair of shoes that I want to talk about is this pair. And this is a really great closed toed but open weave sandal. And I wanted to include this one because this can be um, on the surface a little bit tricky to uh, think of outfits to build around it until you start breaking down those points that we've gone over so far. So starting with the color, this has that beautiful light color. This is something that much like I've mentioned is really versatile for spring and summer, but here I wanna call out something else. The benefit of getting a shoe in this color, something that's almost your skin, but a little bit lighter and brighter, is that you create a beautiful lengthening effect when you wear it. And so especially if you're looking for a shoe for hotter weather and you're gonna be wearing skirts or shorts and you want your legs out, but you still want that lengthening effect, but you don't wanna wear heels, going for a flat like this is a really great option. And then when we look at the material, this is a really great blend of both kind of a more dressy material in the leather, but then a more casual design. And then also little details that allow them to be very breathable. So we've got this open weave and these beautiful details here. And then when you have something like a closed toe, that automatically makes things feel a little bit more formal. So what I wanted to show is how great this looks with shorts. And so I've taken basically the same top that I wore in white, but this is in black. So it's got that little peplum, those little uh, sweet details that we talked about. And then wearing that with matching shorts, it creates almost like a jumpsuit. And you can really see the lengthening effect when you wear this type of shoe with a pair of shorts. So to close this video out, I wanna cycle back to the other two pairs of shoes and really highlight the lengthening effect that this beautiful bone color has. So you can see like with the other outfits, using the longer pants, you don't really need to encourage that type of thinking too much. But when you are working with a broken line and something like the short outfit. Getting that effect is a beautiful way to really round out your outfits. So if you think about the clogs first, those are really evident in the casual feeling that they have with the strap across the toe, um, the overall block heel, that wooden effect that we talked about, but that when you wear them with bare legs, they just create this beautiful silhouette. And instead you get that height and that lengthening effect, and you don't notice too much that casual undercurrent. And then if you think about the mules, those are inherently a little bit dressy like we mentioned. And so when you're pairing them with something like this outfit, it dresses up the outfit. Also the fact that both of these are heels, they make it feel a little bit dressy inherently. And when you compare those two to the um, sandals, the flat sandals, you get the effect from all of them, but a lot of versatility depending on what you're doing. So if you're going out for dinner, I would either go for the clogs or the taller mules. And then if you're gonna be walking a lot throughout the day, I would go for the closed toed sandal ones.
and just a lot of options. So I'm going to link everything that I styled in the description box down below. And then also as a reminder, off your first purchase, you can get 20% off with my code Audrey20. Thank you to Nisolo for sponsoring this video. Thank you, of course, for watching it and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.